What's up, guys? This is the Brofman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, a, a Dutch army has pushed towards us and is attempting to try and, well, effectively, spoil our offensive because uh, the Dutch, particularly around Venice, are looking quite vulnerable. There's still a pocket of troops around Milan. I'm hoping with my other invasions in mainland Europe, we can squash them even further. But for now, the objective is to destroy this army here, plus reinforcements. The reinforcements that are currently occupying one of my ports are very depleted. So let's take them out. So I'm going to be a bit cautious about taking Venice, because that will give us a proper front line against Prussia. I'm going to be really careful about that. It's, it's kind of tempting, because we could then treat Venice as a bit of a um, a magnet, if you like, to draw uh, Prussian forces towards us in a manner that we can easily destroy. But then again, that means we will be at war with Prussia, and we'll, we will then start to land in Greece. And then that will be another series of uh, significant actions there. Uh, so, the terrain... not great. Drop the guns. Create our musket line. I'm curious to see where the reinforcements come in from. Let's take my Indian guards. They can go on the right flank. Then let's create a bit of a general long line of melee troops behind them. Here's Obashi cavalry plus camels all together. Sipahi on the right. Remember in the center. May as well unlimber my guns. And now, okay, so they're coming in on our right flank. To be honest, let's let's advance aggressively anyway. Here's Obashi advance aggressively. So they've got shrapnel shot. Let's peel off two units of melee infantry to specifically go up the left flank. Oh, the right flank, sorry. Fire at will. Kizobashi, pour a volley into that regiment of dragoons. My camels are advancing. The guns are all bombarding the centre. You were going to go for... It uh, doesn't really matter. You men go for the Dragoons. Camel Nomads push up, attack the General's bodyguard. You men are going to hit the Indian Musketeers, but I don't really mind. Okay, let's split. Well, no, don't split the formation yet. Line our infantry a bit better. Try to shatter the dragoons in melee infantry. Doesn't look like they're gonna get super involved, so let's keep spreading them over onto the right flank. Okay, let's bring my Kizobashi back, because we may now have infantry units we can engage. Give the, count, give the gunners some individual targets. I think this division's still pretty good. These men must have engaged cavalry. There's one guy with waiting to reload. Got dervishes and his lap of swordsmen up. So you men should be reloading to engage the light infantry. Well, to be honest, the reinforcements are quite vulnerable. Okay, you men are going to pivot. These men storm up and take the high ground. Okay, something like this. 
Oh shit. Mate, my melee infantry, my uh, my cavalry got attacked by enemy cavalry. More cavalry there. On the way in, my camels are pushing up. It'd be nice to get that unit of grenadiers. Enemy's gonna be at point blank range for our muskets. Let's keep my melee infantry pushing up. Provincial cavalry, not overly worried about them. Camels engage the Dragoons. That'll make a real mess of this enemy cavalry component. Oh, the Provincial Cavalry is an enemy general unit. They will not be getting involved massively. Make ready and present. Well, that's a skirmish unit damaged quite significantly. Okay, these marines are looking mighty upset. Okay, you pursue them. Hindu musketeers push up. Let's keep one more unit pushing here. Get a unit of Hindu musketeers up. And support the flank. By Sapahi, go for the Swiss Mountain Jaeger. Guns kind of useless. Go for the Hussars at the rear. Kizobashi Cavalry break off the attack and try flank. Yeah, it appears they do not want to charge my heavy cavalry. They're content to let their skirmishers die. Let's push up. Seek warriors engage the light infantry. Oh, I want to try break off from the attack. Push over to try get the line infantry. Go on, camels. Cut down this provincial cav. Melee infantry pursuing. Actually, they might get the full artillery. Got him. Go for that unit of 12 pounders. Excellent. My Sipahi, come on. Swiss Mountain Jaeger, two left. They're being fired upon, but they can handle it. Okay, camels pursue the enemy there. I mean, this little cauldron here is just. Yeah, it's going pretty badly for them. Come on, camels, get over here and help my cavalry while they flee. Mercenaries, Grenadiers. Okay, those. Okay, right. I think I could probably want to take these guys, push them forward. Now they have to push back. Cavalry, smash the Grenadier Guard. Where's my general? He's not doing anything. Send him to chase down some of these enemies. in my melee infantry just to try and pursue and chase people down, I suppose. And you guys push up to about here, see if that works. Get my cavalry out of the way. Royal Indian infantry guards shouldn't have made way. Firing at will against the provincial cavalry, gunners limber up. And yeah, you can chase down the marines, they're good to kill. May as well get my general to instead advance to the new front line. Kill the last of the provincial cav, because there's only one left and he's right there. And get out of the way. 
mean they're running like just directly across the front line. Come on, just run. Formation be damned. Try to get my guns up here. Some swordsmen I left behind. Keep attacking the light horse. You men keep attacking the marines. General's not going to hit any stakes. Push my melee infantry down the hill. These Hindu warriors, I, I, try, I wanted to try to see if I could push them up to attack the Swiss line, but that didn't happen. No, come on, Sipahi, get out of there. I don't mind the casualties. You're probably very keen to you fleeing as well. Are they going to attempt to pursue? You guys, who's reloading? One guy on the front rank reloading. Sikh warriors are being charged by the light infantry, that's bold of them. The general's coming in from a terrible position, so I'm going to redirect him just so he doesn't run into any stakes. Okay, good, that's a mercenary unit down. These men are going to push the flanks against the light infantry because the infantry guards are likely to take a bit of hammering there. Storm up and drown them in musket fire. It's a conscript unit here, they've gone down. Hey, my Sipahi came back, my Kizobashi can push up. Good. These light dragoons, yeah, they are also under fire. These Hindu musketeers, by well, this Swiss grenade yeah, units got blown away. Ah, the hill is blocking you. They're blocking. Blocking me. Push the guerrilla mercenaries. Everyone's engaging everybody. Okay, right, let's get you guys back around, because the infantry guards definitely are getting kicked off quite effectively. Okay, let's put you guys around the flank. You men charge the guerrilla mercenaries, get into the action. I mean, my general's unit can fire a will, I just don't have the range. Okay, there goes the enemy cavalry, so now this line of infantry unit is going to be exposed to a whole bunch of fire by rank. The dervishes may actually push up through this gap into the Swiss line. is kicking in. They got hit by my melee troops, but that wasn't in well that they didn't even need that. And you men kill these gorillas. Come on men, we're busting through this line. Jaeger, you men at the provincial cave. Hoping my swordsmen can knock out the mercenaries. The Islamic swordsmen may charge the Swiss line as they redeploy. There we go. 
push up. You men go for the Swiss line. Try and go for them. Yeah, you men smack the Swiss line. My Indian guards hold fire. The Hindu musketeers, they've done pretty well. Or oh, Kizilbashi musketeers, sorry. Shooting a good target as well. They ran this way around the slope to chase after the line infantry. Yeah, we'll just take him out. Don't even wait for an option. Surround and destroy. These men may have done more damage than we'd like them to do, but they still haven't done enough. Enemy generals fall in. Actually, there's my camels. They're still going after. Hey, they may actually take out a unit. Camels are normally pretty slow. They don't really kill units super effectively, in my experience. They don't shoot them. Chop them up. I think that's everything, but we are going to speed up, so we are going to want to destroy. Crash, kill, destroy. Get you guys out of here. I don't go for the grenadiers. Grenadiers are probably the better option. Because these guys are dangerously close to stakes. Yeah, don't go around that way. Come on, stop you devil. There we go. Couldn't get away. Got charged by my guys, although he's holding on magnificently well. It's the last unit over here. Nice. So yeah, they may have done more damage than we'd like, but still, it's quite a good win. We've, got, we've still got one army in reserve that's in good condition. So back you men fall. Excellent. You men here. Hold the bridge. Excellent. So you guys are replenishing. You men can replenish what you can. Let's try push our armies up to the front. Don't have to worry about Genoa yet. So just flood it with oh, Mysorian troops. Excellent. So things like these armies, they may well get combined with troops recruited in Cairo because if we get a front with Russia, we will want to take Istanbul, and there is a lot of Prussian troops at Istanbul. I mean, granted, we've got two armies there, but which are which are okay. But I would like more. I mean, actually, got a, we've got a good amount of armies here. Steam dried arc. Yeah, navies are going to be important, so I can I can um, blockade Heracleon. Send a raiding party forward to push their ships out so I can capture their third and heavy first rate. That would be quite valuable. But in the meantime, we don't really have any money. Besides which, our other campaigns are going quite well. We still need to use my... Oh no, he's been used. My mistake. Okay, you're going to hold ready... Britain to cause issues but the main way to beat Britain there is to keep our navy strong yeah, you need to get, expand your trade fleets this army in Morocco is pretty bland Amazons, Royal Courier Infantry Guard Pikemen won't be able to recruit because we've maxed out African Light Infantry Mercenaries Nah, even Israeli. Israeli aren't great infantry, but they're still 
I like a combination of Israeli and Kizilbashi, because Israeli at least they can form square. So yeah, I mean, Cairo really is the place to recruit. In terms of tech, nothing really on the horizon. Quick climb's coming, but quick climb is not super useful for us because we don't have howitzers and mortars are just unpredictable. So I think the main focus is to push up our lines. I mean, Brussels is ready, is ripe for the taking, so we will want that. Well, Brussels, Amsterdam, Strasbourg, then lots of this stuff must just fall. But again, Amsterdam opens us up to the Prussians in Europe as well. Hmm. Oh well, let's hit N10. Yeah, there go my agents. My recruitment continues, but it needs to continue even more. <clears throat> Particularly at sea. If I can bottle Prussia up in the Baltics, do I want to intercept? I probably should. I'm going to do it manually, because all of... Oh, oh no, the balance of power is so huge, they should. <laughs> yeah, it's not great. <laughs> should have done it. Uh, manually. Bit of a punt. A thousand men spread out around all those troops there is not the end of the world, although I will want them to be in perfect condition when we attack Prussia. Yeah, we are pushing up in the Americas as well, can't forget that. Ideally, I will keep the European war manageable until I ideally expand a bit more in the Americas. And it would also be useful to take on or take out Britain. Buggy and Dutch Guyana, not super useful. Fleet arrives. So we've got one. Oh, you've come back for repairs. Excellent, another fleet in good condition. Sell them out ready. Chaps repair. Fleet arrives in theatre. And you ought to occupy this spot here. This fleet needs repairs, so we're in the East Indies. Send this fleet out to the East Indies. Good. Construction up the ports. Okay, I really, really want to be boosting my economy to be as good as it can be. Because right now, we are... 80 odd thousand is a lot, but it's not a lot for the amount of territory we own. We really need to be pumping those numbers up. Subadar's Palace... Can you afford to leave Panama? Just push on up the road. Upgrading plantations as we go. Roads are being upgraded. Good, let's go back to construction. Get these ports upgraded. Got Florida, Engineer School, Cobbled Roads in Newfoundland. Let's get our Madrasa going. Okay, good. Before we do much more, let's go to Europe. Okay, actually the potential devastation wasn't wasn't as bad as I thought. So I do want to push Venice. But I know very much how the AI, I know very well rather, how the AI behaves. And I tell you what, the AI does, it needs almost no provocation and then it will take you out. Okay, what, so you needed troops or reinforcements really. Piece of artillery plus probably an infantry unit, so... Grab an Israeli from here and recruit a 24 pounder. Good. Okay, your navy grew. No, it didn't. Disregard. Okay. 
Yeah, see, my income is really quite not ideal. I mean, this is generally okay. What I'm going to want to do is I need to, I need to build more Jebex for shuttling men across. So this is another army ready to move. Although you may want to hold nearby. Get you into Egypt. Let's start recruiting another army. Let's get some Native African infantry plus a unit of Israeli. No, not here. Now the Americas. So again, we're at peace with everyone. In the Americas, we do have an army here. Where are you? There you are. So what's the best target? I mean, I want to say attack the natives, but I'm definitely going to do that with two armies because I am I am scared of the native units, the native armies. They're pretty good. Screwed around some of these new Spanish ships. Okie dokie. Right. So you're okay to push. Everything's been spent. Crewman a port, bunch of stuff in Bengal. But you men keep gathering. I mean, 88,000, that is a huge amount. But we are going to start. It's that tax income. That's what we really need. That's what we really, really need. Every turn we hit end turn, our entire empire up, up tax and we get better... Better wealth generation across the board, which means our towns earn more, which means we get more in taxes. I mean, look at them. They're prowling. They're waiting for me to do something. So is Russia and the Caucasus. They're, bo they're building their strength as well. Man. Uh, yeah, just chunk. Chunk them. <laughs> They were lured by the opportunity to raid one of my sugar f um, sugar plantations, which didn't happen. Okay, let's check out. Target assassination success. Good. Have we started to convert the populace yet in Paris? No, we have not. No, agent detected. Got him. Good, the conversion can now begin. So my agents can head eastward. See what lies beyond the enemy front line. See if Venice is ripe for the taking, but I'm going to I'm going to uh, hold off on that just for now. Let's take... I mean, this is concerning. The fact that Russia is just sending troops down here. It's not the end of the world. We do have armies. Okay, I should probably boost. Actually, can you guys... It's only really the infantry we want. Hillmen. Four Sareli. Three Kizzle. Bashi, that's eight units recruited. We've got space for ten. And then let's go for two Faleen. Good. And then let's hop back to India. You've stopped recruiting. So you need... You've got nine slots. So let's get two mercenaries. Two Hindu warriors. Islamic swordsman and a dervish. 
plus two Kizilbashi, plus... Got a great gun? Yeah, you got a great gun. Okay, let's get another um, Hindu Musketeer. There they are. Let's say, don't tell me I can't recruit any more Hindu Musketeers, because I know I can. But then you're probably going to be something similar. So that's seven. Two more spaces. Okay, you're not going to have much in the way of melee infantry, so go for Islamic Swordsman off the bat. Good. There's another trade fleet ready for sale. Plenty of sloops transporting ships, transporting infantry rather around the world. Just get some upgrades done just to get them done. Okay. Eastern Atlantic, you're going to. You're not going to this chap. It's just easier to organize my surplus trade fleets. Thank you an admiral. Good. Okay, that's, that's our navy there expanding. You need. Ultimately, I might just get more infantry. Because you can't really get melee infantry here at all anyway, so. <laughs> Very curious. Okay, now we can tax Paris. That will really help. Let's go for a second madrasa and a craft workshop because I want to try and generate more agents to spread my fantastic religion eastwards. I may even turn this this into a madrasa to try and... Although I don't really want to lure them forward into a river battle. Because it will just... If these guys push forward, it will be a waste of my time. Okay, right. You men. Maintain siege at Brussels. I'm concerned about Württemberg. Unfriendly. Protector of Georgia. That could be how the Georgian War gets kicked off. Um, but let's put Strasbourg under siege and just see what bites. You men can maybe push Cologne. Let's try recruit some levy to act as a garrison for Paris. Okay. So, in terms of fighting, Cherokee, who are you friendly with? Uh, friendly with no one, so we may as well make that happen. Can you push out of Florida? You can. Declare war on the Cherokee. Probably won't send. Oh, Louis, you really hate this. Maybe bring you across or back to here, rather. These both of these armies can link up and push Chikasa. Um, but before I go too mad in laying siege to places, let's actually fight some of them. So let's let's make sure this happens. Take Brussels. There's a reinforcing army. Uh, on the coast, so it would be nice to wipe them out. And that's a stepping stone towards Amsterdam. I mean, I must admit, it's very tempting to try and uh, destroy the Dutch before starting another major European war. I have to time it carefully, though, because I don't want too many front lines of people. I mean, ultimately, it could be quite dangerous, because we're going to be... Um, fighting a two-front war against actually maybe three maybe three or four fronts to be honest at this point 
So let's mass my infantry up front. We're going to be aggressive here. Skirmishes left. Back them up with two units of infantry. Actually, add the Amazons to the skirmisher group. Let's go for my hard hitting cavalry. And my other cavalry. It's going to go on the right flank, work their way through the town. General in the center. Just push up real hard, real fast. The enemy doesn't have. Well, the enemy can't stop us effectively. They don't have enough of anything. Kill the enemy general with a first opening salvo of gunfire. He's commanding the 24 pounder heavy horse guard artillery. My artillery is better. Looks like I've got loads of it. I mean, we only killed one guy from that gun crew as well, and that was the general. Are you going to be. Yeah, you are going to end up within range of the guns, so you can just start engaging the enemy as is. Yeah, it's raining, so we got some sound shenanigans. Spread out. Probably should leave you alone until the you know, the gunners are destroyed. There we go. Horsemen, push up. Engage the garrison militia. Camel mercenaries, just advance. My skirmishes are engaging the enemy. Good. Well, are there any garrison militiamen? So if you can break the garrison militiamen, that would be super handy. But overall, we are going to be pushing forward anyway. We have enemies to annihilate. You keep slaughtering the militia. Trot the camels up. Native lances go for that. Ooh, 18 pound heavy horse guard artillery. Don't, don't normally see that. Artillery's engaging with fire lock arm citizenry. You're going to pour, pour a carbine volley at the garrison militia. These poor devils trying to defend their homes as well as they can. But they can't stop my saw. Can't stop my saw, son. Smash the horse guard artillery with my lances. Oh, they've set up they had a, a mine. That's pretty neat. Tepahi, push around the rear. I mean, ultimately, they're garrison militia, so there's no point actually trying to kill them. Because they'll be destroyed anyway once the city's taken, so. We're getting some kind of surround off, but not necessarily the one we want. You men charge the garrison militia. My Zimandari horsemen are going to charge the the uh, the armed citizenry. Push and push. Gunners engage targets just in this melee. It appears they want to try and break out, which is admirable. Also try to kill the firelock arm citizenry. Get my camels to push around. Holland Guard and Militia. We are honoured to be surrounded by such 
such a proud and mighty unit. However, my cavalry does not care. My cavalry says Holland Guard. They're very tasty. They're very alright, they are. Slammed into them. Gunners just cease fire, because now we've got troops in the melee. It would be irresponsible to risk the lives of my men in such an action. I mean, let's get a camel mercenary to chase down the armed citizenry just to make sure they do route. But in general, I believe the enemy <laughs> the enemy is uh, very much done for. The Holland Guard are shattered. There's my native lancers. Actually, no, keep attacking the enemy. These Grenadier Guards are holding, but they're also being peppered with musketry. 128 of them remaining, though. All my guns can go for them. My horsemen go for the Holland Guard. Yes. Too much is probably why it's better to not use my camels for this. Push forward, men. There they go. Cease fire the guns. These guys are effectively going to be destroyed anyway, so if they are still standing, which they are, Felina still alive, but they're going to charge this militia unit in the rear. Although yet they're engaging my heavy cavalry. The skirmish cavalry is coming in. I think they're pretty. They're pretty sad as it is. Yeah, that's a lot of men killed really quick. Nice. I believe that is the end of that. That's one city taken on the frontier. Like I said, we're going to hold near Cologne. Yeah, one unit remained. So let's rebuild Brussels. Let's fortify it, because it's not impossible. It's not impossible that in this war in Europe we actually lose territory. Let's not do too much upgrading. I'll take Cologne. I mean, ultimately, this navy here can just be just annihilated. Don't need anyone. Excellent. So then this navy put in for repairs. And then when they're in good condition, I'll replace this navy on station so they can put in for repairs. Good. And one of these sloops will take position in Antwerp. You're holding. At some point, Britain's going to be up to no good. Okay, the Americas. I mean, that might just be an auto-resolve because they're already quite depleted anyway. Let's get rid of this. Let's upgrade a trading port. Cotton and tobacco. So the best resource is cotton, and it's also the one we produce less. Oh, no, we don't. We produce loads of it from Europe. Tobacco is worth less, but let's mix things up and go for tobacco. Excellent. Team and replenish. You're going to be pushing to native territory as it is anyway. When's your next town developing? Baton Rouge. Why well, exempt you from tax? You don't earn much tax anyway. Doesn't really make much of a difference. Would very much like an agent here at St. Augustine. To Kester to Questa mission. Where's that? I'm not actually quite familiar with that. Actually, it's not an upgraded palatial farm. So what I need to do is move two sleeps out. That's one sleep out. Well, actually, I should really check. Can you leave Newfoundland? You can, because they're a good Muslim people. Yeah, 
May as well just embark like so. Sail over to Agvatuk. Uh, diplomacy should have checked actually the Inuit nations. Protector of Dagestan. Ah. Okay. Is that something I want to kick off? I think effectively yes. So let's push you up to Dagestan. It will. Ooh, that could bring us into war with Russia. Okay, let's not do that. Let's not do that yet. So you're going to make what? Can you. You can land in. Land on the mainland. Okay, I think you're going to do that. I'm going to bring one army back, land on the mainland. I may even push against the Pueblo nations. Try and destroy New Spain from the north. So then the army can move at full speed. Pueblo nations. Oh, they are also a protector of Dagestan. Okay, so when I jump on them, I need to jump on them all. Yeah, the reason why Dagestan concerns me is that that is a that can be quite an awkward territory to defend. I've got I'll have Russia on my front lines then. I need armies everywhere. Start to stack up, stack some of these armies up, I suppose. It's here at Cairo. Just keep recruiting. That's all it is. And probably begin to take, for example, the Naples garrison, as is. That garrison is good, but not super useful. Because my recruitment options in Italy are limited. So what I would rather do... Come on. Let's move you out. Bring them back to Cairo, so at least they can be added into better infantry, better armies I suppose is the way to look at that in which case then you don't really need a Sureli which we're getting three Sureli Hindu Musketeers and Kizabashi plus a Fellaini unit so you're recruiting your guns you're getting your native troops Maybe two or one African infantry guard because we've soon run out of them. Uh, don't need another Sureli. Maybe a Bowman just to mix things up. Yes, sir. But ultimately, 11 slots. You're recruiting nine. Let's add Kizobashi and then that's an extra. Okay, that's another army done. Or oh, that will be done. So this navy, go for another third rate. But we will want to make sure we have control of the seas in Europe. And there goes my agents. I should check out Britain's diplomatic uh, position at the moment. So that was the army that was currently that was reinforcing Cologne. They have decided not to reinforce Cologne. So I, I do need to bear in mind the idea is I invade and conquer more of Africa, to, not more Africa, more of America to generate more tax income to support all out war in Europe. <laughs> a Russian army mounted aboard ship near Sweden. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. 1400. Yeah, you can raid as much as you like. So again, Cologne is dangerous. They come near us, we'll take them out. 
So they may attempt to, uh, to uh, if we uh, attempting Sally, but then we might draw in this force here at Rotterdam, which I don't want to do yet. You can reinforce here. Let's see if we'll draw them back. But if not, raid the brothel. Great, the commercial port. Prussia's developed a steamship. Well, too bad. It's going to steam right into our fleet. Excellent. There's no one to pirate either. It's unfortunate. Okay, recruitment is ongoing. Right, eho. About mm. get a global trading companies now. It's now we're starting to get a bit of a bit of an upswell, if you like, in our income. Yeah, I don't want I I don't want to push Venice because I don't want to. Get a front line with Prussia yet. That's part of the reason why it's, well, I can maybe take Strasbourg because Württemberg is protector of Georgia, who we're allied with. So if we if this becomes a war, we can manage it because we can then jump on Tbilisi. She's got four slots. Okay, there. Yeah, this this will be another army to help bolster. Any wars that may go on up here. So Egypt's doing well. India's doing well. Let's get over to the Americas. We may well get ambushed from hidden units. But that's a risk we're going to have to take. Maybe just hold them in your lanes for now. And you're not pushing up like you should be should have been. I can't blame you. It's my fault. Push on to Antigua. Okay, good. Quebec's another interesting one. We're very friendly and again, protector of Dagestan, <laughs> Iroquois, Bavaria, Greece, Pueblo Nations, Quebec, Inuit, Courland, Prussia. Yes, yeah, allied with Russia and. <laughs> there, okay, right. So, ooh. If I'm going to attack Dagestan, I need to do it by attacking one of their protectorates. I think the thing to do is just to keep. keep on recruiting. So you need two more units, so let's get Hindu Musketeer and a Dervish unit. And then let's take another general. Keep the recruitment going. Because this is going to get worse before it gets better. Potentially, when, when everything kicks off. I'll get a Desert Warrior. And let's get... Interesting. Three plus... You Can you not recruit? Interesting, you can't recruit. Um, uh, Hindu Infantry. So you're recruiting three units there plus five plus I mean I really like Islamic swordsman. Cool, then you'll be ready. Your sloops are all ready. Did I mean to recruit to third ship third rate uh, generals or admirals?
And then let's get some. Let's make these reduced capability fleets. The mixture of thirds, fourths, and fifths. Hey, you're, that's actually that's pretty handy. Being able to recruit in Ceylon like that. Let's get a general. Kizobashi. Two, three. One more plus Sibahi. Yes, that'll do. Good, and there'll be another army ready. Oof, okay. As you may... As you may be able to tell, I am slightly concerned about... Uh, <laughs> slightly concerned about future war against India, not, uh, Russia and Prussia at once. So Britain allies with Russia. So yeah, if we if we attack Britain, then maybe Russia comes after us as well. Kind... It, do I just take Venice, build up, uh, fortify it, and then see what happens? That's an interesting option. Very interesting. Or do I attack the 13 colonies? Okay, let's take this. Knock out the Cherokee first, and then we'll attack the 13 colonies. And then we'll have I, I, uh, we'll have Russia's territory uh, in the Americas, isolated away from the coast, with no friends. You uh, I might just auto that. Uh, should, it should really attack it, because of the Holland Guard. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'll attack it. But looking at the timer, it would be best suited for the next episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yeah, a bit more incremental gains. There's a bit more campaigning going on at the minute rather than battling, but I think it's very much worthwhile doing. Uh, we need to be quite careful. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>